Hey, poker people, my name is Sky, and welcome to the fourth video in the five minute poker coaching series. Now, in this one, I help Nikadri plug the leak of failing to three bet enough on the button. Let's do it. Alrighty, so here's Nikadri's database of 45,000 hands. You can see he's positive $12 and positive 1.39 big blinds per 100 hands. So at 2NL, Nikadri is a winner right now. But the first thing that stood out to me is this positive 9.72 big blinds um, in or on the button. It's a little bit lower than you'd want it to be. Being the best position at the table, you want this way win rate to be the highest, right? Well, I took a look at some other stats right here and something stood out to me. Calling the preflop 2-bet on the button, 11%, a little high, but 3-bet is just right at like a basic um, value 3-betters range at just under 4%. So I think this is where his problem probably lies and why he is not that profitable on the button. So what I decided to do was a little bit of filtering here. First, let's just isolate the button. Exact, the position is exactly zero. So we're only going to see button plays here. So on the button, positive $17, looking good. What about when Nykadri is calling the two bets on the button? Negative $13. So if you remember, um, his win rate, total win rate, I'm sorry, total dollars won was $12 out of 45,000 hands. If he had folded every single one of these hands instead of calling, he would be up 13 additional dollars or $25 total. He would have doubled the money going to his bottom line by just folding every one of these hands. So this is one of the leaks that Nykadri has is calling too much on the button. But you know, we wanna go a little bit further. What can we do instead of calling a different play and what I highly recommend as much as possible or as often as profitable is to make that three bet on the button. So on the button, three betting, positive $6. Things are looking really good here for Nykadri. So this led me to Nykadri's leak. I lose money by calling instead of three betting with worthy hands from the button. And as you can see, to filter for this, we uh, set the position to zero just to isolate the button only hands and then call preflop two bet, see what the win rate is, and then three bet and then see what that win rate is, right? So um, here's the sticky note from going through somebody's hands and figuring this out. This is the sticky note that I want Nykadri to put on his computer monitor to look at every time he plays a session. If three betting on the button is more positive EV than calling, then do it. And that is critical right here. Um, three betting is positive EV when it satisfies one of these five things, right? First, when opponents can call with worse hands. Now let's take a look at a hand here. In this instance, ace, queen, open raise. Now this player is very loose aggressive and does not like to fold to three bets. Ace queen is probably way better than a lot of the calling range. Sure, he's calling with under pairs, jacks, tens, nines, and eights and stuff, but he's probably calling with every single suited ace, a lot of off suit aces, um, king, queen, queen, jack, uh, queen, 10, possibly. All of those things are ace, queen dominates. This is a great spot to be three betting instead of calling. Now the next one, they'll fold and I win the dead money. Now, pocket jacks, great hand to three bet, right? Not bad call, but great to three bet. You get a razor and then a caller. This is a beautiful spot to three bet squeeze. Sure, he doesn't fold that often, but even if he does call, he's gonna be calling with a super dominated range, right? Our pocket jacks are looking to make some really good money. But if we make it 24 cents here, even 30 cents, make it 15 big blinds, there's a good chance that all these players are folding and we're winning three, six, seven and a half big blinds for that three bet right there. Really good opportunity. Next, you would want a three bet when you have a value hand. Something like pocket queens, right? He open raises and then bam. Now, instead of calling right here, 2217 player, sure, a bit tight aggressive, but we do have pocket queens. There's only two hands right now that are better than us. Um, villain 16 can call with ace king, ace queen, pocket jacks, pocket tens, things that we currently are crushing. So this is a really good three bet. Next, um, positive EV three bets are when they call, but they fold a lot to those flop C bets. Eight, nine suited might not seem like a great opportunity, but look at that. We've been very nitty right now. They should give us some respect. And even if this player who open raises ends up calling, they fold 89% versus C-bets on the flop. What a good opportunity to build that pot pre-flop with a hand that can connect very well. And in case it doesn't, you have position, you throw out that bluff, he's gonna fold more often than not. 
And then lastly, your three bet limits the field and that puts you in those bread and butter situations when you're the preflop raiser in position against one or two other players. Now let's take a look at one last hand for that. Pocket nines, yeah, a lot of people are gonna call this spot right here. But by three betting, you give yourself the chance first off to just take the pot down right now. If one person calls, hey, you also have pocket aces, pocket kings, pocket queens, ace king in your range. So, you know, you can throw out that flop C bet to take it down. Or, um, uh, you know, you could hit a set of nines. The board could come all under cards, deuce three, five. Your pocket nines are pretty good. They might call and give you two streets of value with king, queen, or ace, jack, right? So it's a good situation right here to be uh, to put yourself in a bread and butter spot for sure. All righty, so those are those are some of the reasons and some of the things we're looking for when we want to increase our three betting. Now, for purposeful play, this is what Nikadri and everyone else. This is what you need to do for the next ten thousand hands. Play with a three bet focus on the button. If your three bet is more positive EV than calling or folding, make that three bet. And make it a goal of three betting from the button 10 times per session. Now, if in a session you play two hours and you easily three bet 10 times, up that goal for your next session, 15, 20 times, whatever that might be. You want to use pocket pairs, suited aces, suited kings, and suited connectors like that 8-9 suited that we just saw, right? You're not going to become comfortable with three betting until you try it. So if you don't want to three bet suited connectors, you'll never learn if it really works for you unless you try it. And of course, tag every button three bet hand and questionable hands where you chose not to three bet. And of course, your purposeful study is to review all those tagged hands and you wanna find spots where you missed out on good three bets and where you made poor three bets. Tag all those hands, study them off the felt, record your mistakes and learn from them. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. And of course, a big thanks to Nykadri for opening up their database to us. I hope that you put to use what I showed you today so you can improve your game. Click either one of these videos to watch more in the series. And if you want me to be your coach, go to smartpokerstudy.com coaching.